when you look at the ASEANs, very few of them are complete. Right over here, we can see one that is fairly complete. This one over here is overlapped by this ASEAN and this ASEAN and a bit of this ASEAN. And what this reflects is the fact that in bone there is constant remodeling. Bone is a very dynamic tissue where old bone is broken down and replaced by new bone. And this is constantly going on. So you'll always see some osteons which are relatively new with like this one over here and some that are older that are being broken down and the spaces are being filled in by the lamellae of newer osteons. Now as a consequence of this constant process of tearing down and rebuilding, you will very frequently see only fragments of osteons, like for example right over here, or fragments of older lamellae in between the osteons. And these lamellae which you find in between the osteons are referred to as the interstitial lamellae. This is the interior compartment. What you're seeing here are blood vessels that would be within the bone marrow. And if we look more closely, the interior of the bone does not need to have any strength like the outer lining of the bone, the periosteum the interior lining is a cellular lining. So you find your uh, cells like the osteoblasts and osteoprogenitor cells, stem cells, and you, some osteoclasts which are making up this cellular lining. The cellular lining is referred to as the endosteum. So this gray represents the endosteum. And the pattern of bone that you're seeing here is spongy bones. These bony trabeculae that you see here, these are referred to as trabeculae. So these, these trabeculae that are interweaving and forming this spongy appearance, these trabeculae are cut open. And so you can see the interior of these trabeculae uh, with the bone inside lined by the endosteum. So the gray again represents the endosteum. The, uh, beige colored material represents the bone itself and you can see that there are blood vessels that are penetrating through the open spaces of this spongy bone distributing blood to the various locations of the spongy bone.